It was a wedding present. It has a Westie on it! <laughs> but anyways, this kind of matches my shirt. See here? Like Clifford. Winter is coming, guys. Winter is coming. So uh, what does that mean for Clifford, our 1987 Volkswagen Westphalia? Well, it means a few things. So this is kind of a update video slash repairs video slash... It's an update video. There's a lot of things happening. I don't really know what to call this video. Some things have happened. Some things have happened. So as you'd expect, any 33-year-old vehicle has a lot of... Things wrong with it? General maintenance that needs to be done every once in a while, even when it's in super awesome condition, like Clifford. It's a nice way to put it. So while you might have seen our fridge upgrade video and our tent upgrade, which are very lovely, visually exciting, livable upgrades, there was a lot of, you know... Less exciting fixes and upgrades. But we thought it would be really important to show you the less exciting things because that's the reality of owning a Volkswagen. That's the reality of owning an old vehicle that needs work. It's not just limited to Volkswagens. That's true. So one of the first problems that we noticed when we first got our Westie was that our city water line was cut. So we had to replace the water lines from the hose hookup to the faucet. While we were down there, we decided to replace the very old... Nasty looking, very brown, nasty. gross... Ooh. Other, other water lines. Yeah. Coming um, from the tank. And then because we were replacing the water lines, I also wanted to give the tank a really, really good clean. So I cleaned out the tank with a baking soda and vinegar solution. Not all at once. You do, I did like a baking soda scrub and then I did a vinegar rinse throughout the pipes. But not at the same time. You don't like, because so, that causes a reaction, right? Makes a volcano. Makes a volcano, which if, is... If elementary school served me correctly. So unfortunately we noticed when we were doing our water line replacements that our sink faucet was leaking. And uh, it's apparently a very common problem with these older faucets. Now there is an upgraded version of it, but at that time, this was right before our rocky trip, we didn't want to replace it right away. Kind of a janky fix on our uh, faucet that was, it was dripping out where the wires grow into it. Yeah. I just put some RTV silicone to seal that up and uh, hopefully that stops the little drip and we'll see once we put it back together. This is the city water line working back up here. Clear tube is our tank. And that's that. As we were replacing our water lines, we also noticed that our drain trap just broke. It just cracked. I mean, it's a very old drain trap. It's the plastic had gotten brittle and it had just cracked. Actually just ended up going to an RV store that was here locally. Yeah, they had a new trap. It feels much better and it's a better design. So it was a cheap little fix yeah. and it was nice to find the part locally. The first thing I'm testing is making sure that the faucet works off the tank. We have tank. There's just a bunch of air that was stuck in the water line. That... So you the, the good old uh, suckaroo? The old work? suck and spit, you know? <laughs> Classic manure. It works! All right, one out of two. Let's do city line now. A bit of flow there. Quite the flow. Both water options though, working. Another thing we wanted to replace was the door bearings. Mm -hmm. Now, actually when we bought Clifford, the previous owner had replacement door bearings that he had ordered and just had never put in. So he gave us a bag with some parts and door bearings and all the replacement pieces. And so we just did that a couple weeks ago now. Yeah, that to... wasn't too hard of a fix. No, the, the door was pretty noisy. And it's still a noisy door, but it's a lot better than it was. Yeah, essentially a lot of dirt and gunk just got into like the sliding parts where the bearings kind of roll and it just made it really... The old ball bearings were just gritty and not smooth to turn. And yeah. it, it closes a lot nicer now, even if it's not like a quiet door. I don't think you'll ever get a quiet yeah. door on this old on these old vehicles. Another fix that we had to do was something that we noticed on our Rockies road trip. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't a problem to begin with, no. but about halfway through our trip or maybe closer to the end, we noticed an oil leak coming from our transmission. So the problem is an O-ring 
just on the side of the transmission. It's for the second gear brake band piston and it's just a cover with two O-rings on it and those O-rings had failed and it was just leaking out around that cover. Oh wow, yeah, you can see all the cracks. So we spent a day or an afternoon, it was a few hours, to drain all the ATF out of the transmission, drop the pan, then you have to like drop the whole valve body out of the transmission and get that cover off. So it was a cheap fix. It just took a few hours to do. And at the same time, we replaced the filters for our transmission and gave it a fresh oil change. So that was oil change number one, filling up and replacing our ATF. Our next oil change was, well, just a standard oil change, like you would find in- An engine oil change. An engine oil change. So we also did that to Clifford. So now that Clifford's not leaking and he's not squeaking. <laughs> he still squeaks. <laughs> he still squeaks. We wanted to give him a home for his first Christmas. <laughs> Which is actually not where we live. So we live- And it's actually not Clifford. This would be like his 34th Christmas. It would be his 34th. 33rd, 33rd, 33rd Christmas. We live in the interior of BC yes. and it gets quite cold here in the winter time. We kind of get locked in from, I would say end of October till pretty much end of March. Maybe even April. Yeah. Because we're surrounded by mountains, mountain passes. So and that's the only way to get out of the interiors. As you can imagine, a 1987 Volkswagen Westphalia is not really the best vehicle to be doing so. So our plan for Clifford this winter was to take him across to the lower mainland where we would store him. So the first thing we wanted to do is we want to make sure he was protected from snow, ice, leaves falling. So we got him a lovely cover. Yeah, more so the sap. He's parked yeah. underneath some trees and you don't want sap or like leaves and stuff sitting mm -hmm. on the paint. It can definitely ruin the paint. And then we needed to demousify, de-ratify him. There was no rats in there to begin with. No. <laughs> To clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> so he put peppermint oil and dryer sheets inside the Westie and we put dryer sheets all underneath him in the various engine compartments and wheel compartments and just every little nook and cranny that, you know, a little mouse or a little rat might potentially want to crawl up into. And dryer sheets are supposed to keep them away because they just smell. Where it's parked, we didn't want to use things like rat poison or mothballs or anything like that. Or even the peppermint on or the outside. Or even the peppermint on the outside. There's a couple cats that live in that area and we didn't want to harm the cats, but hopefully they'll also keep the rats and mice away. So another thing that we're also gonna be cautious of, the fact that it's a, uh, we live in a moist climate. <laughs> and so we wanna make sure that the inside doesn't get that musty kind of smell. So this is, should be at least a dehumidifier of some sort. So we're gonna leave that in here. So hopefully it keeps kind of the fabrics and stuff from getting too damp. What does the future for Clifford look like? Well, at this exact moment, it is unsure because our original plan, another reason why we wanted to take it onto the other side of the highway is so we could use it over the winter. We are very fortunate to be in BC where on the lower mainland on like Vancouver Island, you don't really get snow. Like our, the winters are very mild-ish yeah. for Canada. Like it's still cold, but you could travel around. And so we were yeah. hoping to kind of do some like Vancouver Island trips. But unfortunately with all the new COVID restrictions that are kind of coming out like literally this week and and who knows what it will be in the next several weeks, um, I don't know if that's gonna be possible. So what does that mean? When's the next time you'll see Clifford? I don't know. We wanna do some upgrades and a little couple modifications to him before we take him out next time. Mm -hmm. So maybe that'll be the next video we create about Clifford is just some of those little upgrades. Yeah. Now, if you haven't seen our previous Westie upgrade and fix videos already, we'll leave those two videos down in the description. And we are also having a 25% off Black Friday sale for our How to Travel ebook, which is our 259 pages of full of travel advice, tips and hacks for you to help you plan your epic travels in 2021. 2021 guys. Fingers yeah, start crossed. planning. <laughs> that we're gonna get some really cool travels in. But yeah, 25% off Black Friday sales. Links are down below. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye.